At 713 this morning, millions of at-home COVID tests are now on the way to your mailbox. But some of them may be frozen because of the Arctic blast this weekend. Fox 35's Randy Hill is joining us live in studio. And Randy, some are worried that that cold weather could have an impact on the kit. Yeah, not just left in mailboxes, even if you may have purchased one and then accidentally left it in your car. You know, we've tracked the weather. It's dropped into the 30s recently, and these tests have a liquid component. So I checked the FDA's website for you to find out what it says about tests left in freezing temperatures. It noted that researchers must look into what happens when tests are shipped and stored during super hot months and super cold months. The FDA did say test performance may be impacted if you take it out of the car or uh, the mailbox and it's super cold and then you try to immediately use it. So what they say is leave it in your home for at least two hours and allow it to warm up. It says the test should be okay if the test lines appear described as described in the instructions when you take it. If the result lines show up in the wrong place or don't appear within the time frame it's supposed to, they say definitely get another test. Now the FDA didn't give specifics on how long a test can be left in freezing temperatures. Alaskan health officials did weigh in. They know a little bit about the cold weather. The state's top doctor says if it freezes once, it should be okay. But if you know that it's gotten extremely cold more than once, toss it. Also, if your test comes back negative and you know you're sick, take another one. Live in the studio, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News. Good.